Hey guys, do you want a fucking iPod like this? Well now you can, using WinPon for Windows XP. Well, you don't have to have XP, you could use Vista like I do. This is not a beta. I repeat, this is not a beta. Okay, see? It's right there, right there. Cydia Installer and Monkey Balls, the app store that works. And if you don't believe me, we can go to settings right now. Okay. Now, what you gotta do is go to general. Okay. General. Fuck, bitch. General. Okay. Then you go to about, the about section. Okay. Oh, yuck. Are you stealing yokels? Oh, yuck. Oh, 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 I love you. Okay. Right there. Version 2.0. And it's a piece of 8 gigabyte. Alright, so if you want to learn this, you got to have, and uh, uh, what's that called? It's called um, 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 iTunes 7.7. See, it's on this compact presario thingy. See, this is right there. See, whoa, that was freaky. Awesome, though. Yeah, anyways, there's my little pet turtle. Not really. But, you, what you gotta do here, is you need to get, right here, crap, WinPwn 2.0, whatever, you could read that, right? See? Pause it, whatever. I'll give you a link to that, okay. What you got to do, is, open up Fagtoons, penis tooth right there, and then, what you got to do is plug in your iPod. See, what I gotta do over here is is grab grab my piece of crap wires to it and stuff like that. Okay. Now, oh shit. Now, gonna connect your your whatever the hell it's called. Uh, right there. And you have to have iTunes 7.7. .7. And I'm using Windows XP, see right there, right there, it's an XP, no, wait, no, Vista, silly me, it's a Vista, you don't have to use Windows XP, but, yeah, so, what you gotta do is, you need also a 2.0 firmware, I'll give you a link to that, if you don't got it, so yeah, okay, now what you gotta do is that, you have to, Plug in your cord thingy, and while you're doing so, wait, no, hold down your home thing, home button, and then plug this in, so then it could show that connect to iTunes thingy, and then, and then shift click restore, and it should be loading the firmware, like so, okay, so, yeah, I'll get back at you when it's done, and, yeah. Right guys, now that it's done, see it's done in your face, no more Cydia, is that you go download the wind pawn right there. Look oh there it is. Wind pawn. Right, what you gotta do is look in my description. If you don't know what that is, so like right there on the left hand like right hand side of the video and then click on more info right there click on more info and then it all this crap should pop up like that and then yeah so if you've already win pwned your iphone or ipod touch before um you should uninstall the original win pwn and install the newer one which is uh what, what is it called oh yeah win pwn 2.0 yeah, whatever. And then install that. Then run it. And then. Uh, yeah. Vista sucks. We all know. And. Allow. Okay. Now. Go to. Browse ISP. W. 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 And then. Go to where you saved your iPod 2.0. So, 
I saved my to my desktop, so well, double click that, and then all this mumbo jumbo should show up, and then it should load and stuff, and it says be sure to connect iPod. That's really nothing. So now you go to i you go to ISPW Builder. There's where you go. Go to ISPW Builder, then you install Cydia YouTube activation if you want. Then uh, you go if you want you want custom images like I had. Just click this, and then that's what it looks like when it boots. Is what it looks like if you restore it. If you don't want that, and then it just click build ISPW, and then this whole bar right here is gonna turn green. And then once it's done, you should uh yeah it should be. Yeah, whatever, save it on your desktop or wherever you want so it's easy to find. Then after that, I already made one. So, then you go, to, then you go to iPoner. Then you go to where you saved your custom firmware. The one that you just uh, built in an ISP. Mine is right here. Custom and then double click that and then it should load like this and wait and then it says iTunes have been pound pound shot okay you could exit out of this then you go to iTunes Then wait for it to load. Oh yeah. First, you gotta put your iPod Touch into DFU mode before you do this. So put your iPod into DFU mode is you hold. Let's say. Okay. First, you got to. Oh, let's see this. You got to plug in your iPod. Okay. And then, okay, now put your iPod Touch back into Connect to iTunes by holding down the home button and plugging in your cord. So, I think it's like it's 10 seconds or 7, so it's like hold your home button and your power button. Okay, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, 3, 1,000, 4, 1,000. 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, your home button just as I did all right now the fun part not really but it says iTunes has detected an iPod in recovery mode blah 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 now what the okay yeah it's supposed to say that waiting for that and then it's gonna say that again okay okie doke gotta shift see Shift right there, shift, and then, and then, what the frick is it? Uh, restore, yeah, click, press click, shift click, restore, and then, and then you scroll down to your custom firmware that you just made, which is this custom, whatever, whatever, and then it's extracting, and I'll get back at you as soon as I'm done. Okay? Okay, good.